So for today's session, um, you won't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one. Um, and we'll begin with a quick warm up. Cool. So if you come to the center of your mat and we'll just begin by rolling our shoulders back and down, maybe five times backwards. And then change direction and go five times forwards. And then when you've done similar amounts of rotations in both directions, we're just going to inhale to lift one arm up into the air, reaching up tall, extend through that side body. Exhale as you reach over to the other side. Inhale to come all the way back to center, switching over the arms again, reaching up tall with the other hand. And then exhale as you extend over the other side. So we're just going to switch from side to side, moving with your own breath, finding that stretch with each rotation. Maybe five rotations on each side. Really finding that length within the spine, that length within the body, one more each side. And then after this one, you're just going to take the arms out wide. So take your feet just hip distance apart and we're going to wrap the arms around the body as we twist to look behind. Inhale back center and wrap the other way. So you're just swinging from side to side, letting the arms fall wherever you need them to fall. Opening up that spine, opening up your chest. Couple more rotations each side. And then come back to center. Inhale to lift the hands all the way up above the head. Exhale as we come down into our Uttanasana forward fold. Think about drawing the chest over the thighs. Take a bend in the knees and take opposite hand to opposite elbow. And you're just going to swing from side to side. You can hop up and down. You can stay still. Whatever you need to do. Take a few more deep breaths. Open up that lower back, those glutes, those hamstrings. And then take the hands to the front two corners of the mat. Step the feet back to the back two corners of the mat and find down facing dog. From here, just pedal out your feet. Open up the hips, the calves, the hamstrings and the ankles. And maybe a few of you might want to take a few pulses through the shoulders as well, pressing the crown of the head towards the floor. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale to roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale to press up to cobra. And then exhale as you press back to down facing dog. From here, we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand. Inhale to lift and twist with the right hand up towards the ceiling. Exhale, release that hand or elbow to the floor if you can. And then we're just going to take four more elbow taps on the right side. Last one. And then bring the hand back to the mat. Step back to down facing dog and we're gonna repeat on the other side. So left foot comes outside of um, left hand. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale to bring that elbow to the floor. Inhale to reach up again four times or five times in total on the left side. Last one. Replace the hand, step back to down facing dog and then just walk the hands all the way to the back of the mat. Find your Uttanasana forward fold. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance and then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana, palms together at the top. Exhale, come down into your garland pose and just take a few bounces up and down. Open up those hips and then we're gonna walk the hands all the way back forward. So heel toe the feet back underneath you as you find your forward fold. Walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat in that plank position and we'll take a vinyasa. So exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Walk the hands again all the way to the back of the mat for one last time. Heel toe the feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance. Inhale to lift all the way up, extended to dasana. Exhale as you come down into your garland pose. This time, instead of the pulses, we're going to take the left hand to the floor. Inhale to lift and twist to the right. Exhale, release the right hand to the floor. And then inhale to lift and twist to the left. We're just going to do three twists on each side. Moving with your own breath, in your own time, with your own mobility. Replace the hands back to the floor once you've finished. Heel toe your feet 
back underneath you as you find your forward fold again. Walk the hands all the way to the front of the mat, find that plank position, and then we're going to take one last vinyasa. So exhale, low plank, or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, you're just going to walk the feet all the way into the front of the mat, find your Uttanasana forward fold. And then inhale to come all the way up, extended Tadasana. Exhale, as you release the hands, shake it all off, and you should be feeling a bit more warm and mobile. So, we've got our usual three rounds. Um, we've got five movements per round. You're gonna be working for 45 seconds and resting for 20, with a minute's rest in between each round. The first round is a mobility round, so we're gonna work on mobility in the hips and the shoulders everywhere. Um, the second round will be a strengthening round, and then the last round is a cardio, fat burning, blasting round, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so, and then we'll follow it all up with a cool down as usual. So I'm gonna start my clock. I'll demonstrate the movements to you before, and then, you'll get on with the movement, then I'll demonstrate the next movement, and then you'll carry on with that one. So the first one, we're all gonna come down to the floor in a prone position, and you're going to do a prone snow angel. So take your hands out straight out in front of you, forehead to the floor, and you're gonna lift your hands about a couple of inches off the floor. Think about engaging your shoulders, and then bring the arms all the way out in a T-shaped position. Palms go up towards the ceiling and then you bring the hands all the way back behind you. Tap yourself on the bum and then bring the hands all the way back round and back to the front. That is one rep. Try and keep your hands lifted throughout. The slower you go, the harder it is. And I will set the clock up. So if you come to your prone position on the mat and I've pressed play. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna go. So I'll do the first few reps with you. You're gonna come down to that Prune position, arms out straight, reaching high, forehead to the floor, lift the hands. And in three, two, one, go. So just bring your arms all the way around, tap the back if you want to, or keep them lifted, and then bring them all the way back around and up to the top as you can. I haven't turned the thing on, that would help, wouldn't it? <laughs> so just do maybe aim for about five or six good reps. You should feel this in your middle back. You're over halfway. Think about engaging that space between the shoulder blades, those muscles. Think about squeezing them together as you do this. Supporting your arms throughout the process. And in three, two, one, rest. Okay, so the next one, I'm not sure what's going on with my volume, but never mind. Um, the next one is Child's to Cobra. So you're gonna come to the back of the mat in a kneeling position. Sit back in your child's pose and then you're going to scoop your body through and come up into Cobra. If Cobra is too much, always come to Sphinx and then you're going to come back to child's and repeat. So in three, two, one, go. So we're sitting back in our child's pose, scooping the body through, coming up into Cobra. When you're in that cobra position, think about using your glutes and your um, inner thigh muscles to squeeze, squeeze them together and activate them to help support your lower back. Roll those shoulders back and down, push the hips away or push the shoulders away from the floor. You've got four seconds to go and in three, two, one, rest. The next one is low lunge to half split. So we're gonna come into a kneeling position, step one foot forwards. We'll change it halfway, find that low lunge position. So really find that stretch in the hip flexor. And then as we exhale, we're gonna pull back into half splits. You're simply gonna go from here to there. And whenever you're ready, go. So left foot forwards or right foot forwards, whichever you prefer. Sitting in that half lunge position, Pulling back, flexing the toes, straightening that front leg, finding the stretch, holding for one or two counts, and then coming back forwards, holding for another one or two counts. You are coming up to halfway now, so switch over. Right foot goes forwards, sink into that lunge, and then pull back. As you rock back and forth, inhaling to lunge, Exhaling to half splits. Five seconds of work left to go. 
And then we're on to our fifth and final. The next one is garland knee pat tap. So you're coming into this garland pose. You're gonna take one knee to the floor, tap it, come back, tap the other knee. So we're alternating. Your hands can be together in front, wherever they need to be. Just alternating the knees. So in three, two, one, go. Alternating those knees. If you can keep the heel to the floor of the grounded foot, that would be great. If not, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. I'm just trying to get my technology to work this week. <laughs> it's not working out for me, bless it. Let's go. There we go. Halfway there. <laughs> so you're halfway there. Just take it nice and slow. This is a mobility round, remember? Really good. Nice work, Anna. Keep that chest nice ten and lifted. Seconds. You've got 10 seconds to go. And then you've got a whole minute's worth of rest before we move into our strengthening round. Rest. Brilliant, relax. So you've got a whole minute's worth of rest now and I'll demonstrate the next one. So the next round is a strengthening round. So just do as much as you can. It will be much harder, um, but we've got the cardio bit afterwards, don't forget. So that's just the rest going again, so ignore that. <laughs> I don't know why it's gone. Yeah, that's, I don't know. Oh no, we missed one, sorry. We've got down dog to bridge. Let me pause it and I'll demonstrate it. <laughs> Girl, I'm a nightmare this morning. <laughs> so come back into your down facing dog position. And from here, we're going to lift one leg up, come it all the way over and come into like a bridge thrust the hips towards the sky. So keep the knees bent, foot flat to the floor, and then come back up over into down facing dog. Take the other leg up and over, foot goes flat to the floor, find that bridge position, thrust the hips. So it's just opening up those hips. So let me just start the timer on that one and then we'll reset. So in five seconds, so set yourself up in that down facing dog. Sorry guys. <laughs> And whenever you're ready, push back into that down facing dog. Take one leg over, all the way over into that bridge position. So you're coming from that down facing dog, lifting the leg up and over, finding both feet flat before you thrust the hips up and then come back over, find that down facing dog. Take the other foot over, thrust the hips. So with both positions, make sure you spend a moment or two correcting yourself before you move. So in down facing dog, find that nice long lengthy spine. And in that bridge, make sure both feet are flat Change before seven. you push those hips up. And then whenever you're ready, in five, four, three, two, one, rest. rest. Okay, so then I'll reset it now <laughs> for one more set. Cool. Okay, so if you just have a little rest, and I will demonstrate the next movement. So the first movement of the strengthening round as we go into it now is down facing dog to tiger curl. So you're gonna come into this down facing dog position. You're going to lift one leg up as you inhale and then exhale to crunch the knee to nose. If you can, try and find space between your chest and the floor to really squeeze that knee up high, tap the nose to knee, step back, and then repeat on the other side. So the more you squeeze that knee in, the higher you lift it, the harder you're gonna work. If this is too much for you, you can simply just do mountain climbers. So wherever you can find in between that, work within your, um, within your limits. See how you feel, challenge yourself if you want to, but really think about squeezing and holding for just a count or two before you send the leg back. So inhaling, to step back and exhaling to crunch. And I'll set the timer up now. So you've got 10 seconds before it goes again. So if you come up into your down facing dog, set yourself up and then whenever you're ready, you're going to inhale to lift that leg up, exhale, crunch. Step back as you inhale, exhale, crunch on the other side. Nice, so the faster you go, the harder it's gonna be as well. If you're, especially if you're giving that little squeeze at the end for that crunch. If you're finding this quite hard, take it easy. Focus on the positioning. Halfway there. You'll get far more from this if you have the correct alignment. 
you're over halfway now. The speaker's working again. It's all good. Hopefully it will all go to plan this round. <laughs> 10 seconds. You've got 10 seconds left of work. And in five, four, three, two, one, rest. Come down into your um, prone position on the mat. We're going to inhale to lift into locus and then squeeze the shoulder blades back together. Reach back forwards and then come back down as we exhale. So you're inhaling to lift, cactus arms, reach forwards, lower. And whenever you're ready, Let's go. go. So inhale to lift, squeeze those shoulder blades. So really think about having that pencil between your hands or between your shoulder blades, sorry, as you squeeze the shoulders back and down. Maybe hold for a count of one and then lower yourself, lift back up, squeeze. So you should be activating your shoulders, but also your glutes, your in, inner thighs. You should be using all those back muscles to help lift the body away from the floor. You're just coming up to 10 seconds left of work to do. 10 seconds. And then we're moving on to the third movement of this round. And in four, three, two, one, relax. Yes. The next one is a plank variation. So we have a kneeling plank, a normal plank, and you can hold this, or you can do a balance plank if you want to. So those are your three progressions. If you're gonna do balance, we're gonna switch halfway. I'll let you know. And you've got two, three seconds to set yourself up. Let's and whenever you're ready, set yourself up in whichever variation you need and just hold for as long as you can. If you need to um, switch and come down, sit back in child, reset and come back up. So you can do those plank balances, hold them, or you can alternate if you want to make this harder for yourself. Halfway there. You're halfway now. So if you're holding an alternating plank balance, you can switch sides. Keep pressing that floor away. Keep using that core. So squeeze the belly, keep those hips down. Seconds. Don't let your bum pike up. Try and keep it nice and low. Squeeze the hips. And whenever you're ready, in three, two, one, relax. The next one is goddess arm rotation. So we're sitting down into this goddess pose. Arms come out in front, palms together. You're taking one arm back and then the other arm back and you're just alternating. If you need to, come up halfway, shake it off, and then sit back down again. So whenever you're ready, set yourself up, find that goddess squat position, arms go straight out in front of you, sit back into those heels, keep that chest nice and lifted, and just take your time opening and closing those arms. You'll probably find this really hurts the legs more than the arms, but you should get a mini shoulder burn as well. You're coming up to halfway, so if you need to, shake it out. If you can hang on in there, go for it. <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> Obviously, the lower you go in that goddess squat, the harder it's going to be. And then in five, four, three, two, one, relax. We're going to come into our down facing dog position now and scoop straight through into up dog. So you're going to just drop the hips toward the floor, flip the toes, but try and keep the legs and knees lifted off. If this is too much for you, you can always come down to Cobra or Sphinx, whichever you need to do. Just think about pressing the floor away and trying to keep those hips off the floor. So you should just have feet and hands you should find this is quite tiring on the arms and the shoulders. You can either flip the toes like I'm doing or you can roll over the top or keep them That's tucked, really whatever you need to do. You're over halfway. This is the last movement of this round. You should definitely be feeling this in your shoulders and arms. 10 seconds as you lift the body away from the floor. If you're not sure about coming straight through, you can always come all the way down and then lift yourself up. Rest. And rest. So sit back, enjoy the minutes rest that you've got now, and we're into the cardio round. So I'll demonstrate the first one to you, and then the next ones I'll demonstrate in between. So we're gonna come from this Tadasana position at the front of the mat. We're gonna come all the way down into a forward fold. 
From here, you can either step or hop back to down facing dog. Take a vinyasa and then press back up into down facing dog and jump forwards, come all the way back up. So you should be doing something like this. Um, for as many reps as possible, if you need to step back and then step forwards, you can. Whatever you need to do. You've got five seconds worth of rest to go. You're probably gonna get three or four rotations of those in. And whenever you're ready, come to the front, find your Tadasana, exhale, come down into that forward fold, hop back, vinyasa, press up, push back to down facing dog, and jump forwards again. Find that forward fold, you can come straight up if you want, or you can hop straight back, plank, all the way through, press back, and hop. You're over halfway, so you might get one more in. Give it a go. And in 10 seconds, 10 seconds. you can relax. So in five, four, three, two. Rest. So the next one, we're going to go from down facing dog, step through into a high lunge and then inhale to have a knee raise. So you're lifting the back leg up, stepping back, finding your down facing dog and switching sides. So we're alternating each time. If you can go straight from that position all the way up, whenever you're ready, go. So finding your down facing dog position, stepping through into that high lunge, inhaling to lift, exhaling to step back and then repeating on the alternating side. Halfway there. You're over halfway now, guys, so you're doing really well. Well done, Anna. It's quite a good one for catching your stability and balance. You've got five seconds left on the clock, and then we've got another movement. <laughs> The next movement, we're going to come into garland pose, set yourself up, and then when you're ready, jump, catch and chair, and then jump back to garland. So it's a squat jump variation, essentially, jumping from one to the other. If this is too much, step in, chair, step out. Whenever you're ready, go. So set yourself up in that garland, jump, catch and chair, jump, garland. So you're jumping from one to the other. Use the inhale to jump to chair, exhale to garland. Really good work. You should feel this in your thighs, but when you're in that chair, really think about engaging your core too. Halfway there. You're over halfway. If you need to shake it out, step it out, you can. Really good work. You're doing so well. You've got coming up to 10 seconds left. 10 seconds. And then we're on to our next movement. So in five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna press back into down facing dog for the next movement. And then we're going to take the opposite. So the right leg comes out to the outside of the right knee. Tap, step back, left leg, left knee. Tap, step back. This is called firefly. If this is too much for you, feel free to go back to those mountain climbers instead. Whichever works for you. Just try and get as many reps as possible. Think about lifting and planching as you come forward to that knee to make it harder. The higher away from the ground that leg is, the harder, the more stronger you're gonna get. So really lift it up, tuck it up high, almost into your armpit and send it back. So you're over halfway now. Keep going, you're nearly there. You've just got one more move left to do. And then we've got a nice cool down to finish. Really good. And in three, two, one. We're gonna come into our side plank position now. So option to do this on your knee or in a side plank position. You're gonna tuck the knee up, extend, lower, tuck, extend, lower. And then when it says halfway, we're gonna switch sides, tuck, extend, 
lower. Nice round. So, set yourself up in that side plank. Really engage the leg muscles, activate through the legs as you do this. So have a nice, strong, taut leg. Find tension, push the hips away. You're nearly there. You're coming up to halfway any moment. So get ready to roll over to the other side. There. You're halfway, so roll over. Find that side plank position on the other side and see if you can match the number of reps that you did on that first side. We'll work all the way to the end. You've got four seconds left to go. And whenever you're ready, relax. <laughs> so, <laughs> sit back at the back of your mats, catch your breath. If you need to grab a drink, grab a drink. Um, and we'll come into child's pose to finish off. So come all the way down into your extended child's pose. Forehead to the floor reaching forwards and just take a few deep breaths exhaling and inhaling into that upper back and then when you're ready just walk the hands all the way over to the left find the stretch in the side body take two or three deep breaths there And then walk the hands all the way back to the front, all the way over to the right. Find the stretch in the left side body and take two or three deep breaths there. Then when you've done that, just gently walk your hands all the way back to the front and come up into a kneeling position. We're gonna step into that low lunge position, reach the heart forwards, think about finding that stretch within the back um, hip flexor and then when you've had a few pulses there and a few breaths there we're going to take opposite hand to opposite foot bringing that foot into the glute maybe pulsing it a few times and then holding for five four three two one exhale relax switch the legs over so come back to kneeling Take the other foot forwards this time, find that low lunge position, find that stretch. Maybe pulse a few times. Open up that hip flexor. And then when you're ready, take the uh, opposite hand back to opposite foot. Pulse that foot in to your bum a few more times. And then hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, and then we're gonna come all the way into a seated forward fold. So coming into a seated position on your mat, taking your legs straight out in front of you, flexing your toes back towards you. Pull the fleshy bits out from underneath your sit bones. We're going to inhale as we lift and lengthen, and then exhale as we fold the body over those legs. Think about, rather than hunching in the shoulders, try and draw your tummy over your thighs and reaching your nose towards your toes. So you might not go as low, but you're gonna have a much better position for your back and just pulse it for a few breaths maybe with every exhale you get a little bit lower you reach a little bit further two or three more breaths and then slowly inhale as you come all the way up Slide your bum down towards your heels, come onto your back. Bring your toes to the floor, but keep your heels lifted. And then take your hands out in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. We're going to drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers just to release off the back. Maybe five or six times each side. Trying to keep those shoulders glued to the floor. Last time each side. And then slowly bring your knees all the way in towards your chest. Hug them with both arms, rock from side to side, massage your lower back to the ground. And then whenever you're ready, just roll over onto the right side of your body and come all the way up to seated. Yeah. 
And from here, we're just going to take one final deep inhale as we bring our hands up above our heads, palms together. And as we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.